Alright guys, so this is the kind of animation that we will be creating. So, as you can see here, let me show it again. You click on this and you see the Twitter logo. Okay, so it's, you know, it's not rendering properly in this emulator, but whatever, you know, the logo is kind of zooming in. So you see a Twitter, uh, the board logo, and then it zooms in. Alright, so this is what we will be creating. Alright, so click on file, click on new, new project, and let's call this. No, not call. Uh, this will be an empty activity. And this will call this my slash splsh animation. Alright, let's just click finish. <coughs> and yeah, for this, we will be using motion layout. Alright, that's the new layout, and it will be nice if you can use this so all right so we have our project building up it's still building all right so finally we have our uh, build complete so now first things first we go to our layout right so let's see what our layout looks like right now as you can see it looks like this and we have this hello world here so what do we do we just remove this okay so you can do split so you can see the code let me just remove this now instead of this what do we put on here we put an image view all right and let's just call it 128 dp and this is 128 dp right and we want this at the center so we just set the constraints now we just set it align in the center horizontally too so now we have this in the center but since the background is also blue this is also blue uh, we cannot see it right so what do we do is <clears throat> let me just give it this an ID first let's I'll just call it an image view itself right now what can we do we can set a background color to this default color why cannot I see the okay this is empty this this is empty we have not set it set a uh, background for this or a source for this so what can we do is so I have this logo here I'll just copy it and put it in my resources uh, in my drawable right so let me just paste it and now in my sources I'll just add Twitter so we have this board here now this color is not actually very nice though so I'll just change this purple 500 to Twitter's color now uh, Twitter's color is this is the Twitter blue so I'll just put it here and now this looks very good right so now what we will do we will first show this thing and then we will zoom this bird icon so it becomes white alright so now let's go to design view and check out the power of motion layout all right so first we uh, as you can see here in the component tree now it might be minimized like this somewhere so you click on this component tree and you right click on this constraint layout and you what do you do and you click this convert to motion layout all right you hit on convert and now we have our motion layout ready so if you go to code now You'll be able to see this that this has been changed to motion layout now what is the difference <clears throat> so now this is the difference right now we can have our start start state and an end state and there will be an animation between start to end all right now you click on this line and we get this timeline this is kind of a timeline if you have worked with a video editor this is kind of a timeline all right so now here 
in this zero as you can see here this is zero this is 50 this is a hundred all right now when you convert this to a motion layout what happens is this thing is created XML and this activity main scene is created now this has a set of transitions that will be automatically created according to our this transition here all right now if we go to code you'll be able to see the layout description is activity main scene and this is the XML that our main activity is referring as its scene all right so let's go to our design view and in this zeroth second what do we do is we add a keyframe all right and we add a key attribute so the key attribute is scale X okay we add this and then here we also need to add scale Y and again click this key attribute and it is applied to image view and the position is 0 and the attribute is scale Y okay so here we go now <coughs> excuse me so here we have scale X set to 1.2 this is a little bit 0.2 percent greater than 1 than its actual size and we have here scale Y that is 1.22 as you might have noticed when we were when we added this this per became a little bigger so if I change this back to one you notice the height becomes a little smaller let me hit press enter as you can see this height became a little smaller now I go to scale X click this keyframe icon to select uh, this attribute here now as you can see scale X is 1.2 so this is actually bigger than its original size so if I convert back this to one and hit enter see now this has become its original size so in the zeroth second it's the original size now what do we do we add another keyframe all right let's add it to which time let's say the position is 20 let's add it to 20 so what do you want to do so we do we don't directly want this to zoom in we want this to become a little bit smaller and then become very big all right so what do we do we add another scale x at position 20 this turn this position all right and we add another key attribute at the position 20 but this time it is scale y all right so now what do we want this to become we want this to become a little smaller so let's say 0 0.8 then it's in the 20th position and we want this to be 0 0.8 20th now when it has reached 50 we want it to go full zoomed out so zoomed in all right so what do we want to do here we want to add another key attribute and yeah it's the position 50 let's add scale x first and then at the same position let's add another key attribute and this time it will be in position 50 itself but it will be scale y <coughs> all right so let's add this to now we want this to become 1.7 and this to become 1.7 now this is very not big enough right okay why is this still showing 1.7 did I change this no no this is fine so let's change this to a lot bigger let's call this I don't know 50 yeah this has become whole wide and this also I want this to become 50 so it's like 50 times bigger and it has become completely white alright so now what do you want to do if you want to if you want to go here and check you will be able to see this thing right key attribute scale x is 1 scale x is 1 when the frame position is 0 so that is actually frame position it's not seconds it's not milliseconds it's actually frame position all right so <clears throat> and we have scale set to 0 0.8 uh, x and scale set to 0 0.8 in scale y also when the frame is at 20 so what is frame now frame is like let's say you have a video and in a video there are different scenes right so each frame is like 
uh, each frame is like a scene like uh, we have frames per second in a video usually we have 30 frames per second video right so per second there will be 30 frames of the video, video shown so this is exactly like that so in the first frame that is the zeroth frame we have set uh, things set to original size and in the 20th frame we have our scene set to a scale set to 0 0.8 and in the 50th frame we have our scale set to 50 all right so now now we need to define when do we actually run this animation now we can you know set this animation to run on a button click right for that we can go here create a click or swipe handler we can click here and add a click handler and we can do uh, start this transition from start to end whenever something is clicked we just have an image view so we can start this animation on image view click but we don't want this what do we want we want this animation to start automatically when we are opening our app so for that we need to set this to start automatically all right so what do we do we do auto transition and we set this to animate to end we want this to animate to end all right now i think we have our things ready already if i try to run this let's see what happens all right so we have our app running and what just happened so something good happened so if we run this again as you can see okay this is not that one this is my test app so what happens is uh, where is this is this is the app my splash screen I click on this so it zooms in and then it zooms back to its original position so what do we want to do is probably I think this is the thing here uh, frame position is set to 50 right so this is let's put it at 100 because we want our final position to be 100 all right but no no all right let's try this out two no worries so this is actually how things work you know in programming whenever you are a little confused you just test it out alright no worries let's test this again and see if that is actually the issue alright let's run this all right yep this is it now <clears throat> if you click on this here you can see this is our low way zooming in now if you want if you want this to zoom a little slower what you can do is you can just uh, increase the duration to 2000 or accordingly now what we need to do is when our zoom app is zoomed in completely right whenever it's completely zoomed in we, or our animation time is over we want to take some action right we want to switch to another activity for that what you can do is you need to set a listener so that whenever our animation is complete we can do whatever we want all right so let's go ahead and do that so what do we do is we first initialize the motion layout let's just call it motion layout and we do find view by id okay i don't actually have an id set to this thing so let's set an id here and just call this motion layout copy this and let r r dot id dot motion layout okay now we set a listener to this motion layout and we can set this by set transition listener 
so new motion layout dot transition listener and in this on transition complete we can do whatever we want for now I'll just show a toast alright that says do the stuff now and set the length to long and just show this alright while we're at it let's just increase this thing to increase the whole scene duration to 2 seconds so that we can see the animation for a little longer and 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 in the design view let me just change this from 20 to mm, let's say 30 alright so we will be able to see a little zooming out thing too okay I did not press enter here let me move this to 30 okay there we go and now let's just try and run this again <clears throat> now I'll have the link to this icon and this Twitter blue in the description so you can copy this if you want and you'll also want to remove this action bar okay I'll just show you how you can do that also but let's see if our animation has worked okay so as you can see the animation is a lot slower and we also get the to the stuff now thing alright pretty cool huh let's, let's click on this again we can see it's it's zooming in a little and then it's zooming out and then we can do the stuff now so you can do anything you want in that listener also to remove this thing what you can do is you go to your you go to your values you go to your themes and in both the night and date part you remove this dark action bar to no action bar that's it remove that in this thing also that's it that's all you need to do and now you don't you'll not have an action bar alright if you have any problems let me know in the comment section below peace